Hello, hello, my very dear audio friends, and sorry, my very dear audio friends. Yes, how are you today? We're great, though we are very busy. I'm very busy in the studio. As you could see, we've just finished another large recording session. And guys, RX by Isotop is out. Also, Ozone is out, but today I want to review actually RX for you. Yes, I'm a film pro, not only a music producer for last more than a decade, and I'm using um, RX since version 4 on everyday basis. I believe I know this tool quite well, and I do think it's really amazing. It's leading. It's industry standard for a reason, and as you might notice already, I'm not always keen on every Isoto product. It's been like that with their Neutron Assistant function, but I have to tell you it's different with RX. I do believe it's amazing, and I want to see today if it's amazing again and if it's still leading the industry. Let's try it out. And you know what? Actually reviewing RX10 should not be too difficult because I've simply got a list of functions delivered by Isotop. And what's really exciting for me is that actually all of them are some kind of adaptive auto assistant functions. And when there's anything auto adaptive or AI, I have to be there and you already probably know it. So guys, let's go for the first one. New assistant. Boom. And you know what? It's completely reworked by Isotop. It's different. It's never been like that. And I should simply probably play it somewhere here. Learn or something. Is there anything? Yes, there is learn. So let's play the first chunk of my audio. Hello, ladies and gents of the web. I'm testing new Isotope RX 10 new functions. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm trying to record this audio as bad as possible so that... Okay, so he did a touch of everything, of de-sync, of de-clicking, the reverberation, though there was no reverb at all, and I'm sure about it, and denoising. What I would do is probably that I would go for more denoising here. Ah, he turned off the reverb. Actually, guys, I was wrong. The reverb is off, so denoise is here. The async is here. I can solo these. He's only touching it very gently. There's also the click here. Let's. Ah, it's also off. He turned it off which is a cool idea, because no, not much clicks there. And also, I've got profiles, voice, musical, percussion, sound FX. Okay, I'll just focus on voice today. And, well, do I like this suggestion? Hello, ladies and gents of the web. I'm testing new Isotope RX 10 new functions. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm trying to record this audio as bad as possible so that... Our That's a cool suggestion, just a starting point. When I'm in a hurry and I have to do some uh, restoration of the material very quickly, like the preview for a client, that's probably kind of useful. I'm gonna give it another shot. This time the text is going to be Polish and it's gonna be way more troublesome. The quality of this is worse. Dobry wieczór, badziewny, zaszumiony, niekierunkowy sygnał z mojego mikrofonu Beringera ECM pomiarowego. Dołożę do tego jakiś piękny samochód, tramwa. Yes, my friends. Actually, it was made for a test of clarity VX versus something else, but not a video test, just a friend's battle. <laughs> like exchanging some experience. It didn't happen because the guy said that Clarity is gonna win and he simply quit the uh, the con contest, but it was all fine and funny. And now we're back to our RX-10 assistant. Dobry wieczór, badziewny, zaszumiony, niekierunkowy sygnał z mojego mikrofonu Beringera ECM pomiarowego. Dołożę do tego jakiś piękny samochód, tramwaj i zobaczymy, jak radzi sobie Clarity, a jak radzi sobie zwykła bramka szumów i korektor. Okay, so I believe that this is some kind of a new algorithm of adaptive denoising. It's not quite the same as the previous voice denoise in adaptive mode, I think. 
for RX9. It's something different. It's not clarity by waves if we're talking about this. We're not, it's, it's not the same quality of denoising, but it totally improved, I have to tell you. Mm, and also sibilance was kind of natural, well, ECM very linear mic. So I'm fine with the sibilance. I don't know why he engaged D reverb, but it did not spoil any result. So guys, if you ask me, mm, this is a good starting point for a starting point, I would say. I mean, this is a new cool concept of a tool. I already like it and I think it's going to be speeding up some processes massively. But of course, it needs more development. It probably needs some rework just excelling the algorithm, uh, uh, algorithms, making them a bit better, though mm, it's really cool. I think that is going to be somehow useful. So yeah, I will probably use it once or twice when working. And when talking about adaptive auto stuff, typical for post, there's dynamic DHUM, a new module. And you know what? I wanted to test it at the very end, but we're going to test it now. Yes. And normally I have to learn, but this time I can simply put it in adaptive mode. And I will because... Hello, ladies and gents of the web. I'm testing new Isotope RX10 new functions. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm trying to record this audio as bad as possible so that RX10 can do its recovery in automatic assistant mode. Yes, so the hum is really bad. Let's give it a go. Hello, ladies and gents of the web. I'm testing new Isotope RX10 new functions. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm trying to record this audio as bad as possible so that RX10 can do its recovery in automatic assist. Okay, it gives me a huge lag because it needs a lot of look ahead to calculate and detect the material. So it's not for real time, definitely it's for offline use, but well, this is impressive. This really is cool. I don't have to find all my resonances or my humps uh, manually, I can detect them auto like this and it does work nicely, which is really, really cool. Congratulations on that, guys, because this is like a ready tool. Okay, my friends, we've got something more called speaker detection and actually text detection. And we're gonna do it different this time. We're simply gonna use direct offline processing Let's take a listen. Flight 019er, two miles north. Breeded of dire events. East, turn left at 90, maintain. Sneaking fellow, porridge. 4,800 to establish an approach. After meat, chaff and bran. Maintain sneaking fellow. Uh, guys, he is supposed to detect the text for me, write the words and detect who is speaking, actually, which is also very, very cool, potentially. I'm making it here. Boom. Yes. He did detect something. Like Viren Niner, two miles north, breeder of Dor Evansk. Ooh, my friends. Turn left at 90. Maintain sneaking fellow porridge. Okay. I mean, I'm afraid he did some mistakes in the words. Flight 019er, two miles north. Breeded of dire events. East. Turn left at 90. Maintain sneaking fellow porridge. 4,800 to establish an approach. Okay. I mean, this is a really cool idea. Because, for example, I'm going to find a word that I know that's problematic for some reason. I remember the word, for example, from the movie set I've been working on. I can note down this word and then I can find it to take care of it because I remember there was something wrong with it for like or whatever. I mean, this is 
potentially a very, very cool thing, but it has to detect the speech better. I have to tell you that YouTube algorithm is quite good at it, for example, and it makes very little mistakes when generating auto subtitles for my videos. I have noticed that, though I'm not an English a native speaker. Okay, all my friends around say that I've got great English, but I do know I don't speak like a native speaker. I can hear that. And despite that, YouTube can really perfectly re recognize my English words. Here, well, it's just a promising beginning isotope, but you should work on it more. The detection of voices is kind of correct with some minor words shifted left or right, but the word uh, detection, okay, there was some old style, like really old um, English, um, so maybe I'm going to give it another go. For me, when I ask for it, guys, that's it. Let's see what the assistant is capable of. He detected a second speaker who's definitely not there. How's the word detection? Hello, ladies and gents of the web. Of the web. It's of the web. I'm testing new Isotope RX 10 new functions. I'm testing paths. I'm testing new. No, not really. Keywords like, for example, Synthesizer. Synthesizer. Okay. Guys, it's not fully there, I have to tell you. I mean, I really love the concept. It gives you lots of great new possibilities. For example, also if you're in a radio show, radio uh, reporter, editor, whatever, it really does promise you something in the future, but mm, I'm not really sure if it's fully there. They would have to upgrade this algorithm. Seriously. And guys, actually we are through all this, and these are all new functions of RX10. So, I'm ready to sum the things up. If there's any place where Isotope can really shine at, for me it's totally RX Suite. Yes, I've been using this for more than a decade and I still will be using it because there's a reason it's an industry standard it's one of the best products in its category like there's nothing like it actually right for audio restoration guys and there's something new every time there's some real innovation that I can hear and it's gonna be the same in version 11 12 I'm more than sure about it and what I really like here is the DHAM uh, adaptive uh, DHAM module it really works very nice saves me time already also the assistant the new one is a really really cool concept for some quick work guys I'm just wishing you hey isotope that you improve tweak to your um, algorithms for from nice until amazing state that would be really great as for your speech the tax detection probably that needs most improvements but again it's a really really cool concept i'm waiting for you to work more on it in some further updates but yes probably i can see a lot of use for this as well guys that's it for today i'm happy to have reviewed this i'm happy to have tweaked some stuff for you and i hope to see you very very soon take care